Plastic limit. One of the other Berg limits aids in the classification and identification of fine-grained soils. Laboratory tests find this limit as the minimum water content that allows a soil sample to be remolded, after which further remolding causes the sample to crumble. It is the transition between the moisture contents in the plastic and the semi-solid state of the soil. As the grain size of the soil increases, plastic limit decreases. The materials needed for this experiment are spatula, mixing dish, distilled water, glass plate, moisture cans, vernier caliper, a triple balance beam, and an oven. Use the unused portion of the sample prepared in experiment number 9, which was a soil sample passing through number 40C. After, place the soil in the mixing dish. sample and pour a decent amount of distilled water and mix it thoroughly until it reaches a clay consistency. Take approximately 8 grams of the wet mass for this test and shape it into a ball. the glass plate and fingers. Roll the soil mass between fingers on a piece of glass. Apply enough pressure to create a thread that will have a diameter of 3.2 mm throughout its length. again to form a 3.2 mm diameter thread. Rerolding or remolding causes the sample to decrease its moisture content. Continue the rerolling or remolding process until the sample crumbles and can no longer be remolded into a thread. Measure the weight of the empty moisture cans. can with a sample in it. Place the moisture cans with a sample in it into the oven for at least 6 hours. Six hours later, after placing the sample in the oven for at least 6 hours, measure the weight of each can. By the end of this experiment, you should have gathered these data. The weight of the moisture can, the weight of the wet soil with can, and the weight of the dry soil with can. Using these formulas, we are able to get the weight of the wet soil, the weight of the open dried soil, and the moisture content. To get the PL, which is the plastic limit, just get the average of the moisture content. And to get the liquid limit, just use the liquid limit obtained from the experiment number 9. And for the plasticity index, 
to simply subtract the plastic limit and the liquid limit. 